Okay, here we go. Comeback time. And uh, this time I have actually already bought it on iTunes. I believe it's now on my phone. There it is, just showed up on my phone. Um, what I'm gonna do is an album review, as usual. Um, let's start with intro. Okay, that that was good. That was a good intro. That's a great intro. Um, for some reason, it's not playing on my earphones. Maybe I need direct sound. Okay. Um. I'm gonna shut off iTunes and restart it again. But I don't need iTunes for this next part, which is the MV for OOTD. I'll just restart iTunes so I can listen to the next track. No idea if my audio picked up. I think some of it did bled through my earphones. Just to be sure, let's play it again through here. There we go. It's playing through my earphones now. Which means I should, should do this. There we go. That bass though, nice. I like that intro. It's, it's up there. Okay. We're 4K. I got captions on. Let's go. Nice. Thank you. 
Let Dami swear. I do love how there's more practical effects. And there's some... Some behind the scenes work. Interesting. So apparently this is going to be a two-parter. Also, that felt like a five-minute song, but it was only a four-minute song. And I, I wasn't convinced before, but... That was good. That was good. Certainly liked it a hell of a lot more than Bon Voyage. Bon Voyage, I still have a love-hate relationship with. And I'm not hearing... Uh, they, they said it was a punk, pop rock song. Not feeling that, but... It's certainly rock enough for me. So let's, let's mute this while I go back to iTunes. And uh, let's play Rising. And this is my, my, my most anticipated song from the medley, so let's go. Had to raise the volume. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. I like that. I think this is everything I've ever wanted from a Dreamcatcher song. Ever since the beginning. Japanese songs came close. Ooh. Okay, yeah, 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 that's, that's, that's the song of the album so far. And yeah, that is everything I've ever wanted from a Dreamcatcher song. That was pure rock. And that's, that's what I wanted. Just add more metal and it, it'd be perfect but as it is uh, with how their sound has evolved so far I think that might be my most perfect Dreamcatcher song Whew. Uh. <laughs> that's a song that like you need to take a walk right after to appreciate. So good. Um, next is Shatter. Let's give it a listen. This was one I wasn't so um was it so high on
Okay, so, hmm. Hmm. Not sold on that one, but it did have a little of the villainous aspect of it. Hmm, okay. This was the one I was least interested in. Let's give it a try anyway. Oh yeah, this was the EDM song. There's the EDM. Hmm. Looks like my assessment of the highlight medley was spot on. Except OOTD did win me over. Okay, so I'm I am into rising, of course, and then OOTD, then the intro, which is surprising because it's the intro, and usually that's the one that gets relegated to lowest, but. Not quite sold on these ones yet. I mean, the vocal performance is a are great, man. But there's something missing with the... with the post... I think I think it is the post... the uh, post release... releases. Uh, let's stop on... A sewer scene because I am nothing if not consistent. Try and find a sewer scene. Uh... Okay, there we go. 
Devil horns. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much this album goes for, uh, for me. Rising OOTD. This is my fashion. Shatter than We Are Young. So, yeah. I think I think Lee's was instrumental in I think a lot of Dreamcatcher's old sound. This is our, our second comeback with just Olander as the main songwriter. And there are some gems like Rising is probably my favorite Dreamcatcher song of the past couple of years. I want to say. I think OOTD is spectacular and sh hopefully should win our girls <laughs> an award next week I think next week or when was it when was the in a couple of weeks December 6th because of the whole year end bullshit uh, I think yeah, I think uh, scheduling might have been a bit weak on this one, which is a shame because, like, three of the five songs are, are really good. Um... But what do I think of the Allender era so far? There's some hits and misses. I think, I think the new team will take uh, a couple more albums to hit their stride. Um, I don't know. We'll see when Heroes comes out. I think that's going to be what's next after Villains. Because it's going to be a two-parter. And I expect Heroes to come out in, like, February. Or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, that's my thoughts. A uh, fairly decent album. Rising is the best. Which is not surprising. Because that's the one that pretty much caught everyone by surprise with the highlight medley. Just what Dreamcatcher is boiled into a a glorious, a glorious three seventeen. Also, wait, the album version of OOTD is like a minute less than the MV. I'm I'm curious now.
And there's a few, um, a few skits in the middle of the MV. Hmm. I think I might like the album version more than the MV version. And I already like the MV version. I think it flows better because there's a little stop like right around the the Yuyan Handong fight. Yeah, around here there's a stop. And then there's a framing device. I think that added a minute. I think what I like about this one is it's it's far darker than Bon Voyage. Which is what I liked about Vision. And Reason was celebratory, but it still had a tinge of darkness in it. Oh yeah, that, that flows much better than the MV. Rankings still don't change. Rising just is that bitch. Well, anyway, that's my almost half an hour analysis of a, like, how long? Of a 14 minute, <laughs> 14 minute EP plus the MV and the album versions of OOTD. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Um, as always, Stan Dreamcatcher, they're so good. Still so good. Still the only group I will react to. <laughs> Even though I do like Red Velvet, And I I just I just can't react to anyone else. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I will see you all in part two, heroes, I think. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>